the Center for African Liberation and Social Economy Right, CASA, has won the House of Lords in the United Kingdom against promoting terrorism with its call for sanction on Nigeria. According to the center, such sanction would truncate Nigerian democracy and ultimately enhance terrorism. The Kasha made a stance known at the press conference on Sunday in Abuja in response to alleged killing Tajedeta Christian in the north. In a hard press, Kasha president convener Princess Ajibola said the United Kingdom lawmaker moved in lace with mischief and an agenda while well, intention to cause international embarrassment to the Nigerian government. Ajibola noted that the letter to Dominic Rapp, the United Kingdom Foreign Secretary, House of Lord is meant to create discord between Muslims in Nigeria and Christians. It is quite misleading and unfair for inter society and other agencies to infer that only a particular religious faith has been the major victims of these attacks by reporting unconfirmed figures just to stir up religious intolerance among the peaceful citizens of Nigeria. Report has it that many of the casualties of the terrorist attacks in the northern parts of Nigeria are of mixed faith. We therefore say that reducing the act committed by these terrorists to a religious sectarian debate is an irresponsible act that should not be encouraged by anyone or nation. It is imperative that the members of parliament who made these calls be aware of the influence and power they possess in parliament. They should therefore exercise this power towards promoting peace in Nigeria rather than create discord and hostility. What Nigeria needs now from the UK and sanctions, but rather support towards overcoming the current challenges the country is faced with. The letter to Dominic Raab the UK's Foreign Secretary, House of Commons, London, tends to slander, and it only serves to create discord be between Muslims and Christians in Nigeria. Nigeria has suffered a lot from intertribal and interreligious wars for a long time. The signatories to that fallacious letter should have been aware of the growing tensions between the two religions in Nigeria and would have done well to avoid any offensive innuendos that might stir up hostility in the country. Let us be cognizant, cognizant of the fact that Christians and Muslims are victims of this senseless terrorism, where women and children are being kidnapped and raped by these terrorists. Therefore, any attempt or mischievous intentions of sowing discord and disharmony in Nigeria by these members of parliament involved is totally unacceptable. It was also stated that the Nigerian armed forces conscripted children under the age of 15 years into the armed forces. This is quite laughable. <laughs> As every good citizen of Nigeria is aware of the fact that the minimum age for enlisting into any division of the Nigerian armed forces is 18 years.